we are uh, past the top of the hour, and that means it's our next coach this morning, head coach of the Mammoth Hawks, Coach Kevin Callahan. Good morning, Coach. Good morning, Mark. How are you today? Going fine. appreciate your patience as we uh, kind of wing it today without our little service kind of keeping us updated, but glad you are on the call. Uh, coming off a tough loss at Charleston Southern to fall to 0-1 in conference, but you're back home this weekend hosting Liberty. If you can open up, talk about the game against the Buccaneers. Third, second straight year you guys played in a rainstorm. Uh, then we'll start taking questions. Well, yeah, you know, uh, you know, certainly, uh, you know, Charleston Southern's a, a very good football team. They're, you know, extremely well coached, and uh, you know, the, the, the kids play very, very hard. Um, and I think, you know, on Saturday, you know, they capitalized on the opportunities that they created for themselves. And, and I really felt that, you know, they were sharper in uh, all aspects of the game than we were. And, you know, there's a number of areas that, that we need to improve upon moving forward, but. You know, I don't want to take anything away from, you know, uh, Coach Chadwell and the effort that his team put forward. I thought they were an excellent football team and did a terrific job on Saturday. Um, you know, as we move through this, and we've got to get some of our young players a little bit more experienced, a, a little bit making, uh, able to make better decisions and, and on critical uh, points in the game, and, you know, that's what we're working for here. Um, you know, and this week we have Liberty, as you mentioned, and uh, another uh, excellent, well-coached team in the conference. And as, uh, you know, Coach Nichols was just saying, I mean, and when you get into Big South Conference play, every week is a big game. Every week is a quality opponent. And, you know, we've just got to try to tighten up things on our end to do a better job of executing uh, what we want to accomplish on both offense and defense and, you know, uh, hopefully have a better result. All right, Coach, thanks very much. At this time, we'll start taking questions for Kevin Callahan. Once again, our conference call service is not working properly, so for those who would like to ask a question to Coach, please unmute your lines and feel free to ask away. Uh, before we do that, just to follow up, Coach, just you mentioned Charleston Southern. Just kind of where some of the breakdowns occurred at, um, you know, against the Buccaneers that you noticed. Well, I, I think that, you know, our, certainly, um, you know, our run defense to start the game, you know, we, we just weren't in sync. We did, we had uh, some communication breakdowns on the back end, and, you know, they certainly took advantage of it with the uh, style of offense that they run. If you make a mistake, it's going to result in a big play. And, you know, they were able to hit a, a number of uh, big plays uh, early on in their first drive. Um, and, you know, our, some of our guys were reeling a little bit from that, and it took us a while to settle down. And then I think, uh, you know, in, on the special teams, you know, our coverage units uh, had been doing a terrific job all year long. And, um, you know, they exposed some, some weaknesses that we have in it and, uh, you know, took advantage of it with some big returns to, to create very positive field position, you know, for their offense. And, you know, defensively, they're a tough group. They play with great technique. They swarm to the football. Um, they, they don't make a mistake, and they make it very difficult to, to do some of the things that you like to do. All right, Coach, thanks. At this time, we'll move the questions for you. So those who wish to talk to Coach, I'm anticipating a few questions, so just uh, uh, we'll try to do this as, as, as best we can. Just go ahead and ask your question of Coach, and obviously uh, introduce yourself first. Cal, it, it's Josh. How are you? Good, Josh. Um, the fact that you guys were able to go down there last year, um, play them off the game of tied it after three quarters, with that kind of effort leaving there, was there at least some sense that maybe the gap between Mammoth and, and teams like Liberty is not as wide as maybe you once thought it, it, it was? Well, I, I think, you know, the experience of, of playing at Liberty actually the last two seasons, 2013 and 2014, is, you know, it taught our players that, you know, one, they're, they're a, a quality football program. Uh, they're very talented athletically and they're well coached. But I, I think that you know, our players also took away from that game that you know if we go out there and we play hard and we execute, you know we we can we can be in the ball game and we can play with them. So I, I think there is a little bit of both that, that we came away from that those two games with, and you know we're looking forward to improve upon that this Saturday, Josh. Thanks, Cal. Thank you, Josh. Again, uh, our service is not working, so if there's any other media who wish to talk to Coach Callahan, please ask that question. Uh, go ahead. Kevin, this is Damian Sorrett with the Lynchburg News in advance. How are you? Good, Damian. Uh, Coach, you want to ask him, how, Im how important has the return been of Marcus Leslie into the secondary, getting him back, getting him healthy, so that way you can shore up your secondary and 
at that time have, be able to work on your run defense and you know an offensive area that Liberty really hasn't found any consistency in, and that way you can you know have a be short up in the back end, really attack them you know at a point where they haven't had much success this year. Well, you know, to your first point, you know, uh, Marcus missed uh, most of the winter and the spring with an off-season surgery, and as we got back into training camp, uh, it, it took him a little while to kind of get back to playing again. And you know, he was he was working hard at it and improving each and every week. And you know, now it looks like he's the you know the Marcus Leslie that you know we had playing back there last year. So that certainly helps our depth in the secondary. It has, uh, allows us to play a, a player that uh, at least have. You know, half a season of game experience, and, and and that should help us play a little bit better pass defense on the other end. And as you mentioned, you know, with the run defense, I think that you know when you when you play against the run, you've got to make sure that you're sound on the back end and sound in the secondary. And the the return of Marcus provides us with a, another experienced player, a guy who's been on the even, although he's only a sophomore, he's been on the field, he's been in games, and you know, hopefully that will allow us to be more effective. And uh, following up on what Josh asked you about playing at Liberty and getting that experience, um, especially in that type of environment, um, what did, what did you learn about what the Flames can do offensively, defensively with their schemes? Um, and that way you, you have an idea of, all right, we know Peterson's going to be heavily involved, shade maybe someone over to him, um, you know, defensively make sure Chima is away, he doesn't get in the backfield and create problems because that seems like when their defensive line gets pressure, that allows the secondary to play a little bit better. <laughs> well, 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 making sure he doesn't get in the backfield and create problems, that's easier to say than do. Right. Um, you know, he, he's, a, he's a very talented player. Um, I've always been impressed with the way that, you know, Liberty plays defense, how sound they are and how, how disciplined they are in all of their run fits, but also how disciplined they are with their eyes in the pass game. And then, you know, on the offensive side, I mean, you know, you, you look at Liberty and at every position group, there's a weapon. You know, they've got an outstanding quarterback. The the, the receiving core is, is much deeper than, than, than Peterson. It, it's, a, it's a very talented group of receivers uh, that can hurt you in a number of ways. They've got the ability to use three tight ends. They're almost interchangeable. They're all, you know, very, very large people and, and very athletic. And, and they're able to play with three running backs. Um, and, and they can really just roll those guys through and keep them fresh. So, you know, at every point on the field, uh, from an offensive standpoint, you know, they, they have weapons and they have the ability to, to stress your defense at every point. And what's, um, what's one thing you're looking at defensively that you could, could do so that way you're not stressed and that way make a game out of it last, like, like last year where you're going into the fourth quarter with an opportunity to, to win? Well, I, I think, you know, you know, we've got to make sure that, you know, we're doing uh, – obviously it starts with doing a good job against the run, but in, in doing that you've got to make sure that you're not, you know, uh, uh, giving up opportunities in the pass game. Uh, you know, Woodrum is an excellent quarterback. If, you give, if you're trying to cheat and get somebody involved in the run game, he is going to take advantage of it without a doubt. Um, he, he's excellent at throwing the ball, and as I mentioned before, you know, they have receivers who, who will get open and have a good feel for w what they're trying to do, and, you know, they, they stress you on all levels, so it's not like you can cheat in one area to help defend the other area. Kevin, I appreciate the time. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Damian. And one last chance for questions of Coach Callahan. Again, uh, feel free to unmute your lines and uh, ask away, and then uh, we'll wrap up with Coach. Hearing none, I'll just throw this one last out for you, Coach. A similar question I just asked Coach Nichols. Getting to host a ranked team, just kind of you know the excitement around that and the opportunities it presents, especially with it being a conference game. I'm sorry, I didn't quite get the end of that, Mark. No, just the excitement of being able to host a ranked team in your in your facility, especially with it being a conference game uh, this coming Saturday. Well, you know we're very excited about it. You know we've been down to Liberty uh, twice, and you know it, it's it's good to have them come up to uh, New Jersey and up to West Long Branch and play. I know our fans are excited to, you know, to see, uh, you know, them come in here and play. Uh, 
you know, with the ranking that they have. And I know they'll probably bring a large number of fans with them as well, so it should be a great environment. All right, Coach. Well, that's all that we got for you. I appreciate your time this morning, and good luck uh, Saturday against the Flames. Thank you very much, Mark. Appreciate it. All right, and for those joining us late, Coach Gill will be available uh, later this morning, approximately 11.35, or once Coach Bohannon is finished with his time.